Russian military advances have stalled, but what comes next? Western intelligence says Vladimir Putin may not be fully informed by his own intimidated military, having misjudged the resistance and resolve of the Ukrainians. It all adds up to the strategic miscalculation that our leaders warned Putin it would be. But history also suggests Putin may well carry on. Years ago in Chechnya, Russian troops also suffered major setbacks. This Global News report summed up Western thinking in 1999. The Kremlin's initial boast that victory in Chechnya would be swift and decisive is proving to be a costly miscalculation. It sounds familiar, but even then a young Vladimir Putin dismissed international condemnation. The war in Chechnya did not end for another 10 years. Certainly, when you look at Putin's uh, invasions, you see this uh, reckless disregard for, for human life, for civilian life. The Russians bombed Chechnya into submission. The devastation in the capital Grozny, the shells shocked civilians, all acceptable to Putin. In 2016, Russia's bombing campaign in Aleppo, Syria, left utter destruction and refugees defend for themselves. What's happening now in Mariupol and other Ukrainian cities is not new. It is brutality we've seen before. These are the kinds of things that he learned, that you can bomb and use armor, but it's not as effective in Ukraine when you're dealing with a much larger country, a much more determined opposition, with much better weaponry. When Russia began its invasion five weeks ago, it already controlled Crimea and much of the Donbass region of Ukraine. Since then, the Russian military has gained control of areas in the north, close to Kyiv and Kharkiv, and in the south, creating a link between the Donbass and Crimea that has destroyed Mariupol. But Ukrainian forces are contesting many areas. And while Russia has launched attacks all over the country, it is concentrated in the eastern part of Ukraine. Is that Putin's new plan? Whether he's actually pulling back and going to say, I'm just going to focus on the Donbass and I'm not worried about the rest of the country. I'm a skeptic. Mistrust for a leader who in the past has met resistance with deception and more firepower. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.